Oh, what do you got? Power supply, a huge sensor. Can you pass that next to Dolly? Ah, that's the old MLST-1CH, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah. What we are doing in this cupboard, very simple installation for uh, one of my daughters. Got a profile going on in this corner. They're gonna run the cable up and into the ceiling, get a power supply happening. And we are going to be triggering this guy to turn the lights on when she opens up the cupboard. It's super important for a three-year-old's um, wardrobe, but if you are going to do wardrobes, I suggest this strip. It's the Emelec 14.4 watt, and it has a CRI of 97 at least. So colors are gonna pop, and uh, people are gonna see the right colors for their applications. All right, so we have put the profile in the corner. Uh, another place that I like to sometimes install them is under the rails. Um, I just had to install an extra rail here because obviously a small child can't reach up too high. Um, so we've put the profile in at an angle to shoot it across at 120 degrees. And it's cuttable every three LEDs, so it's super simple. Just hold it in position, run it all the way down the bottom. And then you'll see here, I have already bent it where we need to cut it off. Now every packet um, of MLX strip and even the 50 meter rolls comes with uh, these connectors. They are very handy. This strip usually has one pre-soldered um, connection and I suggest no matter what that you always solder. However, if you're unable to solder, I'll show you how to use these connectors. Okay, first things first is um, polarity. Very important on DC connections, which LED strip is. Um, and that means red to red, uh, black to black, or red to positive, black to negative. If you're unable to do red to positive and black to negative, it's okay. Just remember when you go up to the power supply, you need to switch it around. So in this circumstance here, um, I've got uh, positive, negative, and the way that I'm gonna do this is straight away, I'm gonna peel um, the sheath off the back um, or the protection. I'm not gonna peel off um, the actual double-sided tape. And so you slide this clip open and essentially after you slide the clip open, you just wanna slide the actual LED strip, or wriggle it in there. Make sure that you get that copper in as far as possible. Now the clamp's still open. So what you wanna do then is slide that clamp closed with your fingers. You could use pliers too if you need to, but that's pretty tight now. It won't come off because it's used the double-sided tape to kind of secure it into place. Once you've done that, you are ready to stick the strip into place. You can also solder or make your extra length cable straight away. Okay, so Lyra has put her strip here uh, and uh, I've managed to get mine into the profile. One thing that you wanna watch is when you do put your screws into the profile, is try to recess the screws as much as possible and that will make sure that you don't end up with really big lumps um, when you run your LED strip over. Well, what are we doing with this strip here, Lyra? Um, um, spare. Spare, yeah. I'd like to make sure that I say this, uh, for most people they're gonna do it, but anyway, just push down from the top, never start in the middle um, unless you're forced to, uh, because sometimes you end up with a bubble and it's really hard to get it out. You don't want to be using pliers. So start from the top, push it in, and then work your way down. Um, I've used aluminium ALU-2, um, our standard profile, which is really flexible at a 45 degree angle. I preferably would have gone with the corner profile had I had a look about the installation previous to this. Okay, so installation of this little guy here, um, I'm gonna select probably um, to have this tucked in this corner because it's likely that my daughter is going to be leaving um, this door open and I don't want it to come on, so I don't really wanna put it up the top or out here. It's quite a wide beam angle that it can actually pick up. I'm gonna tuck it around here. Um, installation of these is super simple. Rubber coated uh, piece of metal uh, with a recessed point for the screw to go in. So I'm gonna mount that there. Worst case scenario, I can move it around later. Oh, these aluminum screws on the end of the screw tip. All right, so I am going to go up in the roof and install one of these. This is a single channel, channel stitchy controller. What do you think, Lyra? Yeah. Yeah? 
Any specific instructions I should follow? Yeah. That part there. It's the responsibility of me to install this properly. We need to do that. All right, so as you can see, this guy is very small. I'm choosing to put it in the ceiling and trigger it through that um, sensor that I've just talked about. Uh, and I'm gonna put the power supply up there too, just to try and get it out of this cupboard. In any house, there's always lots of obstacles to come over for Sparkies. I am, of course, using an Amalek blind snake to make a quick connection. It's gonna go straight onto the circuit that I want. Found the cable. And funnily enough, <clears throat> when we did our renovation a few years ago, I've actually run a cable previous, so I had two cables up here. Nothing like preparation that I forgot about. Uh, you all know how I love to admit my mistakes. I'm gonna put the controller in here because of course, uh, when it needs to be reset or if it needs to be reset or paired with anything else later, um, you gotta go up in the roof to push the button. So anyway, back up to the roof to remove the controller so we can put it up here. Okay, I have put the controller just up in this corner out of sight and uh, of course now we can see that it is grab uh, this little guy here the tab when you're ready pull that tab out it'll go into learn mode as well i should mention too if you've got any weird flashing just hit the program button on the actual um one channel controller uh five times just like any other stitchy device and uh it will go into search mode What do you like about it? Um, my dresses and my art. This is awesome. <laughs> but now it's fun. So I could see because I couldn't see very well. So we made some lights in my um, closets. It's with my sisters too. And I can play hide and sink in it while they... We made some lights in my room. And there's a sensor. It's we got some stuff from my dad's work, like the our garage, and it's a sensor, so we don't have to turn the lights on. All my clothes are brighter, and it looks cooler in my closet.